Hi, this is Andrea Sachuk. In this video episode, you will get to know how to make sure that Adobe Experience Cloud ID service is implemented correctly. I'm doing an audit of American Airlines and I'm going to show you what I have discovered. But before that, I just want to briefly remind you the purpose of the Experience Cloud ID service. This is a unified visitor ID that is used across Experience Cloud solutions. And this helps the solutions to exchange the data on the back end. For example, if you are using Adobe Analytics and Adobe Target and you want to use analytics metrics as goals in target activities, you need to have Experience Cloud ID service implemented so that both solutions will use the same visitor ID and this will enable the data exchange. At the same time, if you're using Audience Manager and you want to exchange the data between Analytics and Audience Manager, again, Experience Cloud ID service should be implemented for that purpose as well. Or if you are going to use Trigger Score Service to automate marketing via Adobe Campaign, in this case, again, Experience Cloud ID service will help Adobe Campaign to be notified from Adobe Analytics segments or let's say triggers when and uh, where the messaging should be sent. Now let's have a look how the American Airlines website works in terms of Adobe Analytics implementation. I am on the US homepage and now I'm going to look at what is sent to Adobe Analytics. As you can see the MID parameter exists and this means that the Experience Cloud ID service was implemented and is working properly. The value of this parameter stands for the visitor ID that was assigned to my device. And this value should persist even if I go to another page or another website of American Airlines. Now let's check to which reports we the data is sent to. And this is AA production. And I'm going to switch to another country. It will be Dominican Republic. And I will keep the Spanish language. And now again, I'm going to check what MID parameter is sent. But as you can see, the MID parameter is missing in the beacon. And in the second server call, it's also missing. So this is the problem of the implementation. The MID parameter should persist across all pages and all sites that you use to gather the data into a single report suite. In this case, this is again AA production. So the problem is that now Adobe Analytics will not be able to identify myself as a visitor who previously visited the US version of the website. And since the FID parameter is also missing, that is also used for visitor identification in case Experience Cloud ID is not implemented, then uh, Adobe Analytics will be using, let's say, backup algorithm that is based on my user agent and IP address concatenation into a hash, and that hash is used to identify uh, this device. But this is the less accurate method and you should always avoid it. If you have Experience Cloud ID implemented, then make sure that MID parameter is sent. If it's not implemented, then check that the FID parameter exists. Now I'm going to switch to another website, to one more website. And in this case, this will be Russian Federation. And I will keep the language English. And again, there are two server calls that are sent to the same report suite, AA production, and the MID parameter is missing. So the problem is that now when somebody will be working with the reports in that report suite, the number of unique visitors will be highly inflated, just because instead of having one unique visitor, there will be at least two or three unique visitors since I wasn't correctly identified on other two websites. My advice to you is when you implement Experience Cloud ID service, you can populate one more wearable where you will pass a value that will help you to identify whether Experience Cloud ID was correctly implemented or not. So if the MID parameter exists, then the value 
of that variable can be uh, experience called ID is working properly. If it doesn't exist, then there is an error in the implementation. This will help you identify on which pages the experience cloud ID service may not be working properly. Let me know if you like this video. If you want me to do some other audits of Adobe Analytics implementation on other websites, share them in the comments underneath. And subscribe to my channel if you want to be notified about new video uploads. Thank you for watching.